Hi and welcome students. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Windows 10 desktop and how to organize your desktop in a way that's most efficient. I'm going to go over the start menu, the taskbar, the recycling bin, and the actual desktop itself. Let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you can see here is that this is my desktop background. Uh, I keep my background plain. I don't uh, have any pictures or anything like that, mostly because I'm recording videos. If you do want to set a background picture you just right click and you go to personalize and you can choose a picture from your background area. The only thing that I have on my desktop is this recycling bin right here. Whenever you delete a file it will go to the recycling bin and then you can empty the recycling bin to permanently delete your files. Alright so you'll also notice I do not have any icons along my desktop. Typically I do not like to keep icons or applications here or any type of files. The reason for that is because I keep every application that I use down here on my taskbar. So if I keep everything down here on my taskbar, I really don't need to uh, you know, really click on much of anything besides what's down here. So that's why I keep everything on the taskbar. Now if you want to put something on your taskbar, all you have to do is go down here to the bottom left and click on the Windows icon or press the Windows key on your computer. When I do that, it'll open this up. Let's say that I use this file or this application a lot right here, Gmetrics, and I want to save it onto my taskbar down here. Well, all I have to do is right click on that uh, application and then I can go right here to More and I can click Pin to Taskbar. Once I do that, you'll see that it appears right down here. Now I can move it along in a logical format. You can see on mine, I have File Explorer first, then I have three internet browsers, then I have my Microsoft Office suite, then an Adobe suite, and then various other programs that I use. Okay, so now you see Gmetrics, the one that I just added, is here at the end. All right, and I can move it by clicking and dragging it to whatever spot that I want on my taskbar. So that's a great way to organize your Windows 10 uh, taskbar right there. So let's say I don't want Gmetrics here anymore. What I'll do is I'll right click and I will go to unpin from taskbar. And now you'll see it's now removed. So that's how you add and remove things from your taskbar. Your taskbar should contain all of the items that you use regularly. Okay, so uh, now we're going to go into the start menu, which is right down here in the bottom left, or you press the Windows key on your keyboard and you click it. And it basically shows you this. It shows you your name, whatever you're signed in as, and then it also shows you your most used applications, and then also uh, your file explorer, settings, power, so on and so forth. Now, let's say that I wanted to um, more or less organize this area to the right. Now, if you're looking at your Windows 10 desktop, it probably has a way different look than mine right now. Basically, I organize mine similar to how I do my taskbar, but with more applications in here. So typically, these will contain the applications that I don't quite use enough to put into the taskbar. So I see I have my browsers up here. I have my Microsoft Office suite, my Adobe suite, some gaming uh, applications, recording applications, editing, so on and so forth. So let's say that I wanted to add Gmetrics into this area over here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to pin to start. Okay, now if I click pin to start right here, notice what happens. It creates a new area right here for Gmetrics, but you notice this icon is much larger. Now typically I don't need my icons this large, so I'll right click on it and I'll go to resize and I'll choose small. Okay, now it's uniform with the rest of them, but notice that it doesn't have a group name. Okay, now Gmetrics is training software, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here on the group name icon and I'm going to type in training software and press enter. And now we see that it's organized uh, all here. So if I had more training software, I could put that into here as well. So I can always move this up and down just by clicking and dragging. And uh, that's kind of how you move your uh, start menu items around and how you adjust your applications within your start menu. So this should all be customized as well. And again, all of these things are to save you time and improve your efficiency when you're using your computer. That way, when you are using your computer, let's say you want to open up a Chrome browser, you just click it. You don't have to go over here and find out where it's at, then double click it, anything like that. You don't need to do it. So I hope this video helped you out on kind of organizing your desktop and maybe some ideas that you might have uh, for improving your efficiency on the computer. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If there's anything that you have a question on, please put it in the comment section. And if you have a video request, put it in there as well. Uh, if you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Other than that, thank you so much for watching.